everybody. I have things on my desk today. Um, hair is up today because I was getting far too hot. Um, we are having insane weather in, for Northern Ireland here at the moment. It was 27 degrees on Thursday. I don't think it's ever been 27 degrees here in my life before. Um, last night and through parts of today we have had thunder and lightning, well thunder at least, and torrential rain. Um, but the sun is now out again. I've been out today, I got a couple of new things. Um, I got this from Freemark um, for £10, which is nice and light, it's the viscose thing, but I had to get in a size 18. And this item I got from New Look in a size 10. So, <laughs> as you can see, the sizing issue is still ongoing, but I just needed some like bloaty things for this ridiculous weather that um, are covered up enough for work. I, uh, I don't like to have twins out at work and I've got a bit of a, a hang up about having my armpits on show at work so I don't like anything sleeveless either which leaves very little um, by way of options because everything seems to be shoestring straps or no sleeves or a low cut or some variation of the three I guess a combination of the three I've also got a little tiny haul to share with you today I got some of these in Dunelm which are to keep the birds off my seeds so they're oodles of fun generally very windy here we're quite high up and um, it's also usually about three degrees um, centigrade but these should spin round and hopefully they will scare the birds away so I've got some of those I have a project that hopefully I'm gonna be able to share with you because if I don't get it finished this weekend it'll not be happening because it's for something on Monday and obviously we're back at work at Monday. So this is some bond web. Or not? Do I mean bond web? Yes, I do. Bond. Do I? Yes, I do. Bond web. Uh, and a cushion that I got from Dan Elm. My cushion was four pounds. My bond web was is a uh, it's a meter of bond web, and it was three pound fifty or something like that. And um, that's the card from my dad. <laughs> Um, so I've got a little bit of trim. I have absolutely no idea how much that was. And I got uh, a little piece of satin um, bias binding for another project that I'm thinking about. Put everything in there. And this is a pillow sham. No, um, I had planned to just make one, but um, due to time constraints, I decided to buy one. No. It is a little dull at the moment. It's a really kind of soft, felty fabric. I've got my, my white trim and then my bond web. So I'm going to applique something onto it. Um, on my, I uh, went to boarding school, all girls boarding school in Belfast. Um, and on Monday, we are having a kind of reunion barbecue. One of the matrons, Ms. Burns, um, has been there for 25 years this year. Um, so she must have started in 1993 um, and I started there in 1996. So um, she hadn't been there very long um, when I was first there. And uh, she's been there 25 years this year and we're having a bit of a party. And I decided I was going to make her a gift so if I get it done, I will insert it at the end of this video. And if you like it, I will also resurrect my old blog and I will post um, the template for what I'm putting on the cushion on there. So if anybody else fancies it, they're welcome to it. Um, 
if you're interested, um, I have made the template using a free program called Ink Inkscape, um, which is a very easy to use. Um, I find it much easier, much more intuitive to use than Photoshop, or Illustrator, or any of the Adobe ones, which are obviously brilliant programs, but you know, three hours of YouTube videos later, you might be able to do exactly what you wanted. Inkscape is a lot easier to use. It doesn't have as much functionality, but you can really do pretty much anything you're going to want to do, I think, on there. Um, I have managed to hem a ridiculous tiny skirt. Now, it's not as short as I was concerned it was going to be. Um, it has, I have given it a very small hem, um, but it is very light. It doesn't drape nicely because it's the wrong kind of fabric, really. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe, um, I don't know how I would go about attaching a lining at this stage. Um, but maybe a lining in just like a white, a thin white cotton underneath with some kind of little frill at the bottom. Might be kind of cute. Might get a bit more wear out of that. Um, I will be going to Spain in October. And flamingos are very in at the moment. Um, my cousin is currently obsessed with flamingos. And uh, my friend's little girl, Penny, who's four is also obsessed with flamingos and they are everywhere at the moment so i'm hoping come up, come up october come october they will still be very popular um, and i can wear this a bit while i'm out in spain um it is a little indecent at the moment uh, that's not there out of the way now this week i purchased a book which is not where is it hang on new book oh it's so lovely i love it so much um it's got such lovely things in i really like the way there aren't any patterns in this um and it's all just you know you take a measurement you start with a line and there are lots of different things that you can make using just the basic block including this top which is gorgeous um and i imagine quite flattering so i reckon i'm going to have a go at making that but before this arrived i had already started cutting out bits of the pattern for the bateen dress um and i'm going to use a hack i can't remember who posted it the hack but um I think Lisa shared it um, to turn the bateen dress into a top because I need some lighter tops for work that aren't indecent and I thought I'll make one. I am making it out of what was a fitted bed sheet that my mum has given me. Uh, mum and I got a new bed and when it came the mattress was about this deep so the uh, some of the fitted sheets and things that she'd got the bed didn't fit but they're from Marks and Spencers and they're very high thread count very nice so I'm gonna make a little top out of them now I have cut it it's sitting here I did manage to stab myself and get a tiny bit of blood on the, the fabric already just when I was pinning and cutting out um, but hopefully that will not be too much of a problem that'll come out okay uh, the cats have been all over it um, here come the cats. The cats have been all over it and uh, it is cut out now. I have a suspicion already that it's not going to fit um, or rather that it's not going to be loose enough. It is going to fit but it's not, it'll, it'll be too tight for what I've had in mind really. Um, I just, I need air. It's so hot and sticky. It's sticky here. Um, with the uh, 22 degrees and torrential rain, it's just the humidity is really high. It's quite horrible. <laughs> and I'm too hot all the time. 
um, I am quite over my usual weight at the moment um, from I started a new blood pressure tablet a year and a half ago maybe on the Herbisartan and I started um, I have not really been able to lose any weight and um, coming up to Christmas I was nearly 16 no that's not true at all I was nearly 13 stone and uh, I'm only five foot four and I decided I was gonna have to take some drastic action and I have managed to lose a stone since then however I still can't fit into my summer clothes so I am very limited with what I've got to wear at the moment uh, all my summery stuff has no sleeves in or very short shorts and just not 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 for work not for work it's finished it's my present it says ooh matron which i think matron will find very entertaining i hope so anyway it's really soft it's kind of got a soft thing to it ooh matron um, I have thought about some sequins or something. Very cute the way it is. Ta -da! So I hope she likes that. I have got her a card as well. And I did say I was going to show you the um, t-shirts that I got for Alistair for his birthday, which is on the 6th, which is what? Wednesday? Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So these are both ordered online and um, i think i did get them both through amazon but they're not from amazon if that makes any sense they're through amazon marketplace so this is the first one i am quite pleased that it. it seems to be like a nice quality t-shirt um which was available in a lot of colors but i've got it in the white because it he's a big fan of a black t-shirt including in the middle of summer even if you're abroad. So this is the um, formula for the Duckworth Lewis method, which is a thing in cricket, which I shan't go into. But basically this, the purpose of this t-shirt is that if anybody knows what it means, they're a friend. So he will enjoy that very much. And it's a nice white t-shirt for the summer. And then also got him out. So got him this one because he loves David Bowie. Woo. All the David Bowies. Isn't it adorable? Um, it's not quite as nice a uh, quality T-shirt, but um, it's it's quirky enough that it will not matter. And again, it's in a not black away from the black and um, I used to always get him a large in a t-shirt but um, it seems to have gone down to a medium so these are both medium Let's see how we go with that um, he's lost a lot of weight while he's been training running lately um, he ran uh, over the Easter weekend he ran from Belfast to Dublin capital city to capital city it took him 25 hours and a little bit and it was 107 miles. So there was a lot of training <laughs> um, went into that. Um, he was doing like 35 mile runs on a Sunday and I'm not sure what that is in kilometers, but a long way. Um, and, uh, he got two medals for completing. He got the, the medal for the run and a 100 mile medal. Um, so he's now in the 100 mile club. And uh, mom and I drove down to Dublin for the night and stayed overnight and had a hilarious time um, and <laughs> picked him up the next day and drove him home. His plan, I think, originally was to get the bus home. He was in no condition to have gone home. <laughs> um, so, sorry. Uh, so we, uh, we brought him back and uh, yeah, he was a bit sick that night and uh, was up in the night to go to the bathroom and collapsed and the next day his leg had gone black and uh, had to bundle him into the car and drive him to casualty uh, into Belfast. He had a 
partially ruptured calf, um, which they were less worried about than the possibility that he'd hit his head in the night when he passed out, which he didn't. And least likely bit of him to be damaged had he hit anything when he passed out. Um, but his CK level was really, really high. And they were worried about his kidneys, so he ended up with um, a two, uh, a day and a half and an overnight in hospital and uh, crutches for two weeks and he's still recovering. He's just started back to running now and it's been, what, eight weeks or something. So he's, he's on the road to recovery, but he's he's been a trial um, in the interim <laughs> when he, he couldn't even get himself a glass of water. Two crutches, couldn't carry anything. He was not much help to me, but it was a great achievement <laughs> running his 100 miles. He raised a lot of money for um, breast cancer, um, which was the, well, not the whole point, but which was, it was what he was, what he was doing it for. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's probably been our most exciting thing this year. And uh, that's probably enough of a video for now so I will catch you later overnight